Sir? Cheers. Hello, I appreciate your help. It's the king. Hello, your majesty. Oh, hello there. I've been waiting for someone like you to come by. Someone who could help me. It's about my husband. Well, my late husband, that is. I said goodbye to him right here as he went off to fight in Morningwood. He was a soldier, you see. I know he's buried nearby, and I'd really like to visit him, but it's too dangerous to make the journey alone. If you wouldn't mind, would you escort me to his grave? You will? Thank you so much. I'm ready when you are. It really is most kind of you to look after me like this. I hope you know how to deal with Hollow Men. There's a good chance we'll run into a few. Oh my! Look out! He was a good man, my husband. Handsome lad, my husband was. Very dashing in his uniform. I shall never love again, not like I loved him. Why did he have to be a soldier? Ah! Hollow Men! It's been a while now since he was killed, but I still miss him. Every day. Never marry a soldier. That's what they say. Watch out! There are more Hollow Men! Thank you for your kindness in bringing me here. I just need some time alone with him. You can go now. Thank you again. Oh, that Max. He's always getting me into trouble. We were going to go right home after the party, but now he's gone off. I've got to find him. If Mum finds out about all this, she'll kill us. Or, you know, the equivalent. Wonderful. Now, I do kind of know where he is. Um, follow me. Mum always warned us about drinking. It was quite sweet, actually, her concern. She used to say, touch that stuff and you'll end up a worthless, filthy old tramp, like your father. We always respected her wishes in that regard, which is actually a bit uncharacteristic for us. But Max, he just started putting it away. And all the time he's reading out incantations from the book, laughing like a maniac. He turned the trees upside down, it was raining handbags at one point, and then he summoned this huge flaming demon who was amazing at croquet. And there were weird bits as well. I told him he should lay off, and he said if I didn't like the party, I could leave. And I said, why don't you leave? And he left. And he took the party with him. Here, I'll just get inside. So, if you just turn into a wisp, you can fly right it. Oh, sorry. Stupid of me. Uh, here. He's in there somewhere. I'd go with you, but I think that would just upset him. Good luck.
Who needs the living? They're a bunch of wet blankets. Hey! Have you come to join the party? We've got a good vibe going on here, so don't bring us down. What do you want, anyway? Sam didn't follow you in, did he? I can't believe someone incorporeal could be such a drag. pooper just like mum. She never lets me do anything. It's always cut that out and put that down and you'll unleash an ancient evil again. Well, I've had enough of her oppression. I've had a taste of real freedom now. Adele, by the way, which was quite nice as well. 
I didn't want to kill you. But if it's a choice between that and going back to Mum, you forced my hand! These are the ghosts of the people I'm really not to hang around with, so look out! doing my own thing and no one's going to stop me. <laughs> You've fallen into another one of my traps. When I first came in here and found this, I thought, bloody hell, it'd be great fun to lead someone in here. Well, thank you for obliging me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Get the point? You certainly are sharp. I hope you enjoy big, piercing spiky things crushing your head. Right, admittedly, that last one was rubbish.
years of bloody piano lessons. Guess whose brilliant idea that was? Mum's! She's gonna be sorry I ever learned to play, and you'll be sorry too! No good. What are you doing here? Never mind. You've been reading from that book again, haven't you? And do I smell ale? Yes, on Max. He had rather a lot, actually. You snitch. This is why I never want you around. You get down off there this instant and march straight back to your grave, and you're not getting any supper. Sorry, Mum. I told you we'd get in trouble. No, you didn't. Thank you for finding my sons and for getting that book away from them. I don't know how they could have got their cold, dead hands on it. But then I don't really want to know. I have nothing to give you except this advice. Don't have your children buried near you, especially if they're anything like mine.
there are new items available in the Sanctuary Shop. interesting thing has to be a rather odd object I'm convinced must have some historical value. I'm sure my cousin Saul would know what it is. He works over at the Brightwall Academy, you see. Very bright fellow. You wouldn't mind taking it to him, would you? I'd do it myself, but all that digging has done my back in. Wonderful. How kind you are. Here it is. Good to see you, you Ah, my lord.
at your service, my king. Well met. Your Majesty, I'm so chuffed with your rule, I've got a present for you. My lord. For you, Your Majesty. Hello, great lord. Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending me odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does look quite intriguing. I shall have a closer look when I have the time. more in the back, so just let me know if you want to see more. I'm in a shop. Why else would I come in? Things have never... Hello there, Your Majesty. I hope you're all right. Just what I wanted. Please come again. We're low on stock, so I'll give you a bit extra for certain items. There's a bounty to be earned if you fancy it. We've got another escaped prisoner on the loose. Great. I'm in your debt. Well, until I pay you, that is. Would you sign your autograph for me? Please. Yes! <laughs> Right, Joe. Nobody wants you to sign anything.
Welcome to the sanctuary. Anything better in all of Brightwall than the stuff I'm selling right here? There is nothing here. more precious than a precious stone. Welcome to my shop. I like your look, sir. All right, all right, it's a fair cop, as the saying goes. Ugh, you some kind of do-gooder, is that it? Or are you doing it for the money? No different than me, then, are you? I'm doing it for the money, too. Ah, another villain for the cage. Keep this up and we'll have the entire criminal underworld locked up in no time. Thanks for your help. Make sure you come back soon. There'll be more work, I can just feel it. I'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. I'm sure we'll have what you're looking for. enough grog to drown a hog. Sir. I'm at your command. Hello. Ah, hello. Feel free to browse, and buy. Feel even freer to buy. Oh, 
Oh, your majesty. Oh, thank goodness. You have to help me. My gnomes. My beautiful gnomes. With their little hats. I have to get them back. I just have to, you understand? I, I have to. Oh, thank you, your majesty. I knew I could count on you. All my darling gnomes have deserted me. Well, all, all but one. He's right in the house. His name's Lionel. He always had a chip on his shoulder, that one. I tried patching it, but it didn't do any good. Please, try and talk some sense into him. And don't worry, you won't have any trouble finding him. You, you just need to follow his... <laughs> his voice. See, Brian's got himself a girlfriend. Set his sights awfully low. Your gun and Lionel suddenly appeared out here. But did, did you shoot him? Huh. However, you did it, you, you have to find the others, hunt them down wherever they are. See if I can get them all back, I can work out a way to fix this. Yeah, mother, you shut it. I told you never to mention her. <laughs> Perhaps the company can help. Well, I am going to write a letter to their customer relations department, a strongly worded letter. Hello there, Your Majesty. I trust you're well, sir. Hello there, Your Majesty. Ah, hello. In animal rights. Well, do you? Those bastards, the greedy pie makers of Bowerstone, certainly don't, that's for sure. 
They experiment on them for new salves, rouges, lip balms, and other futile fripperies. Then they kill them and put them into pies. <laughs> it's barbaric. Someone like you could do something about it, though. Free them from those evil carnivorous tyrants. All you have to do is, well, break into a certain factory and open all the cages. Will you do it? You'll do it? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. If we don't help those defenseless animals, then who will? Seeing you brings back memories of wanting my eyes gouged out. You, uh, really got your mother's love. Ooh. Majesty. You might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I'm quite certain there is something new in there.
There's a new gift for you. You have a decidedly noble air about you. It suits you. presents. We have them all. I'd like to get to know someone like you, and then drown them. most about people. They die. Are you lost? Can I help you? 
you starve and die? You are so noble. Yeah, that's not boring. Those are nice shoes. But don't you think your grand's feet are cold without them? Oh, look! He's wagging his tail. Maybe he's thinking about eating crap. You certainly are a big, strong hero, for a lady. You seem like a very nice person. I kill nice people, you know. I'm gonna kick your royal ass! Down quick. Ah, watch out. Personality better. It's like comparing mud to it. Welcome to the Sanctuary. to me. I'm going to build some kind of animal hotel, I think. Five star, of course. With lots of food and games and fun and stuff. It'll be like a little animal paradise here on Earth.
There's a bounty to be earned if you fancy it. Prisoner on the loose. Thanks. Bring him in and I'll lock him up. Stone's finest items. Who's ten years? Slap some makeup. You're not going to take me alive, copper. Oh, all right then, just this once. Okay, I might as well tag along. I give hard cash for your unwanted goods on the spot. Hope to see you again. Thank you, shopkeep. No, I was framed. Really, I was. They planted those pies in my pocket, I tell ya. We only stock the very best and most expensive items. Oh, I get my hand back, do I? Well, that's neighbourly of you. No, not back to jail. I hate it in there, especially the food. The robbery rates will plummet with fingers here behind bars once and for all. Thanks for your help. Make sure you come back soon. There'll be more work, I can just feel it. Well met, my lord. I buy stuff, so come here and uh, I'll buy your stuff. Okay? Are you happy to discuss... Her? Oh, you're good at this. Ali! Oh, gorgeous. Has it you? Ah! How noble you are, your majesty. An inspiration to us all. Ah, 
You're Let a me buy your unwanted one. items. They why not inquire pay? about the blacksmith job? Do you ever wonder why they didn't call this place Brownstone? Uh, maybe it was a typo. Very nice pair of trousers, those. That is some mighty fine finery. You've got a lot of followers amongst the people, you know, Your Majesty. The world would be a better place if we were all as honest as you. Pleasing to the eye. A great way to make money is to start making pies. I bet you sleep on a big pile of gold, don't you? Hello, great king. You're looking like Not a million much, golds yeah. today, to Your me. Majesty. I'd love a pair of gloves like that, yeah. Very stylish. There's a pawnbroker in town. I've never sold anything there myself, but it's good to know about in case you need cash fast. There's something pure about you. Whoa, those are some expensive clothes. How noble you are, Your Majesty. An inspiration. Happy to be oh, gloves like that, yeah. Very stylish. I give hard cash for your unwanted goods, on the spot. Great hammer work there. Good blade. A nice sharp one. That's how you make a blade. One blade done. Great hammer work there. Not like that. Oh, that's a good one. That's a fine blade. Good blade. You know how to use a hammer. That's one complete blade. You know how to use a hammer. That's how you make a blade. Good blade. Can't you hit straight? Keep hitting it like that. That's a fine blade. Try to hit the blade. That blade's done. You're doing a good job. That blade's done. That one's ready.
Good blade. Nice blade. Nice bit of forging. That's a blade, all right. That blade's done. Perfect blade, that. Hit the blade, not the anvil. It'll sell, I guess. Great hammer work there. That blade's complete. That's a blade, all right. That's a fine blade. A nice sharp one. One blade done. That blade's complete. You know how to use a hammer. A nice sharp one. Great hammer work there. That'll fetch a good price. Hit the blade, not the anvil. something. Hey there, your majesty. You might be <laughs> glad to yeah. Greetings, sir. For king and country.
sanctuary shop has some new bits and bobs, I believe. Why not? I do love a good. Hey! Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Follow me. Oh, Brings a smile to one's eye. A lot of my goods come from adventurer types who get it from looting chests and bandits and hogs and stuff. I buy stuff, so come here and uh. That's a fine item. Thank you for your custom. Happy to be of service. I'd like to come round to your house for tea, and then I'll have your mum. You seem like a very nice person. There's a pawnbroker in town. I've people, never sold you know. anything there myself, wow. but it's good to know about in case you need cash would you fast. Mind leaving, the world would be. Okay. Follow me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, you are good. Yes. <laughs> I really need some help. I won't forget it, ever. I need you to pick something up for me. Will you do it? Dogs are noble, loyal, and faithful. Oh, good. Thank you. I can't wait to see it. Oh, noble one. Greetings, your majesty. There's a nice sail on not far from here. Well, now, aren't you a handsome cop? Ah, hello.
Your Majesty, here. I offer this with all you. Thank you. It's just so nice to have it back. Thank you for that, my dear friend. The kingdom is in great hands, Your Majesty. Best establishment in Brightwall. Is not there crazy. you are, your majesty. I need to find somewhere cheaper to live. Honest as you, you have so much fun. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Wow. You should get some ballroom dancing lessons. <laughs> I can't believe it's you. Please, give me an autograph. The king! We've got something for every budget. Wow. You're the coolest person ever. Great. Thank you. I really need some help. I won't forget it. Ever. Hey, Good. Thank you. Come back and see me after, won't you? Welcome to the Sanctuary. Looking for something There's no special, better tattoos or will it just mine? be the regular stuff Woo! today? Hooray! Yay! Woo! Yippee! Here it is at last. Oh, thanks so much. I bet you sleep on a big pile of gold, don't you? Greetings, sir. Ah, my lord.
So, you finished the job. Well done. Thank you for that, my dear friend. Can I have your autograph? Best wishes. I deserve it. Sir? <laughs> Anyone helping you? Big Mark down. Oh, hey! Here's a present. Now, how about my commit? Unwanted items. I want to buy them. Get yourself a gun today. Let me know if I it's can a help. Sensible thing to do. Greetings, Your Majesty. something for me. Can you do that? Yeah! Great. Just bring it back when you find it. Exploiting evil landlords, aren't you? That's why my rent is so painfully hard.
Greetings, sir. At your orders, sir. Why make pies just to I'll eat? buy anything. You could get paid well, to make them. You look rather fantastic, I must say. Oh, brilliant! I thought I'd lost this forever. Thank you, friend. Such a wise rule, Your Majesty. I'm behind Don't know where it's way. gone. I must have left it in the car. Sir. Still in business, so that's something. The shop's doing well, so I'll try to give a little bit back. Spending your money helps the economy, you know. And me. All well, my lord. We had a couple of rough patches, but at the moment we're doing okay. So much virtue. It's a wonder you don't just float off in the air. a new melee weapon today. Pleasure doing business with you. I guess things are all right, but they could be a lot better. You won't find Always nicer look food out anywhere. For sales. You never know when I'll put one on. Let me know if I can help. If you're not too busy, you might have a look in the... You have unopened gifts waiting for you. That appears to be all of the gifts. Majesty. I trust you're well, sir. Everything all right, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. At your service. Greeting, sir. At your command. Ready to serve, Your Majesty. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, Your Lordship. Lordship. If I give you this, will you do something for me? Ah, oh, it's our mighty king.
How are you this fine day, sir? My king. At your service, my king. Nice to see you, your majesty. All stand to attention for the king of Albion. Today, you decide on the decor of the castle. Two of Albion's greatest interior designers have come to present their suggestions. You may speak. Your Majesty, I am Herman Worthy, and I have a design in mind that will blow your little royal socks off. Imagine a celestial scheme capable of lifting the shadows that haunt these halls. A fabulous balance of serene hues that announce to the world, I am a strong, virtuous leader. Hear me roar. But also, look how pretty my home is. You are an enlightened king. Let the heart of your castle be enlightened too. Celestial? Serene? Pretty? Do you wish to be known as a ruler or as a fool? I am Sybil Maleficent, Your Majesty, and I can tell you that people respect what they fear. This castle should be a fortress of dread. I propose that we flood the rooms and corridors with blood, or at least a suitable paint substitute. Let all those who look upon this palace know terror, whether they be your subjects or your enemies. It may seem trivial, but appearances can affect the opinion of the entire kingdom. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. I wish this to be an enlightened castle. Oh! Fabulous, Your Majesty! Fabulous! Your castle will be a vision of purity. And what's more, fashion and good taste must choke down their nausea. For king At and your country. orders. Today, you decide on the future of Aurora, Your Majesty. Kaelin will speak for her people. Reva will dispute her cause. You may speak. I am here to seek the protection you promised. It is too long since my people felt safe or knew of life without suffering. We were honored to join your fight to claim Albion now it is time we joined your kingdom. Do what your brother failed to do. Help us to rebuild Aurora and protect it as you would your own land. There is nothing so noble as embracing other cultures, and I, for one, could not be happier to count Aurora as part of Albion. But surely they must work for that privilege, and I happen to know just how to put them to good service. There is an abandoned mine in the Auroran Desert that holds enough materials to benefit the whole kingdom. Let us employ Kaelin and her people to gather what resources there may be. That can be their payment. You are talking about forced labor. Well, let's not get bogged down in semantics. It's a fair transaction. I know you will not break your oath. You understand what we have been through. The choice is yours, Your Majesty. I will keep my promise. Aurora will become part of Albion, and its people will be our equals in every way. The king has spoken. Aurora shall be rebuilt as part of Albion, and equal to every other part of the kingdom. Thank you, Majesty. You have proven to be a man of honor. Aurora is proud to stand at your side. Welcome to the new and improved Aurora. 
an oasis of friendship, camaraderie, and many other lovely things. Visit the city that Riva Industries rebuilt from sand, stone, and corpses. Enjoy the sunshine, the odd local customs, and the heavy soldier presence. Aurora, a light blooming in the darkness. A most brave decision in court today, Your Majesty. Aurora might have proven to be a rather profitable resource, but I'm sure we can find other means of filling the treasury. As a matter of fact, we could already have stumbled upon such an opportunity. Aurora may not turn out to be a waste after all. It seems that a group of Albion explorers visiting Aurora have discovered a rare diamond in the desert. They heard the legend of this extraordinary gem from the locals, and understandably set out to find it, without a moment's regard for their own lives. Which may go some way to explaining why only one of the explorers returned in one piece. He came back empty-handed, speaking of the hideous desert beings protecting the treasure. Think of the glory, your majesty, the adventure, the romance. The large sums of money we stand to make. The diamond is located in one of the caves beneath the Auroran wasteland, reportedly the site of an ancient abandoned temple. You need only to take it. Everything all right, Your Majesty? Attention! Woohoo! Gosh, I don't know what to say, Your Majesty. Aye! My Lord. Your Majesty. Sir? At your command. Ah, hello! Sir. I trust you're well, sir. Hello. Yay! Yippee! At your service, my king. when you could be wearing clothes.
It's the great ruin. Sir. Cedric will get back on his feet. Yeah. I tell mother this for all humans. My lord. Nice to see you, your majesty. Hello there, Your Majesty. I hope you're well. This is Royal Magnificence! That's nice, little one. Well done. Many have pledged their loyalty to you, Your Majesty. Majesty. Who's a beautiful dog? Who's a... Who's <laughs> 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 so beautiful, boy, boy, boy? <laughs> Not the end of life. Right. Bad things that are done the end of the sand, war, but write the good things on a piece of marble.
favorite season. I love the snow. And that's when most people die. You on fire. Notice you there. How'd you like being so insignificant?
Your Majesty, please take this Greetings, as a token Your of my esteem. Okay. How are you, Your Majesty? Have you no sympathy for your fellows? I hope you like the wares on display. Friend. Hello to you, Your Highness. I'm at your command. Other business to attend to? It's it's more beautiful than I dared to imagine. And heavy too. Our experts estimate it's worth a small fortune. Of course, now the question becomes, what do you wish to do with this fine stone? Shall I deposit the money from the sale into the treasury? Or perhaps you would prefer the funds were channeled into, let us say, a more personal account? A truly selfless act. I am constantly in awe of your generous and noble spirit. Putting the safety of your people before your own reward. Bravo, your majesty. Bravo. The treasury is looking rather sickly, wouldn't you agree? We must always be wary of unnecessary expenditures and watch out for possible avenues of profit. With that in mind, I would like to discuss the thorny issue of child benefits, which were abolished under your brother's rule. There are vocal elements within the community who are clamoring for us to bring it back. In the interests of the Treasury and of the long-term welfare of the people, I have a counter-proposal. It's somewhat radical, but rather brilliant, if you don't mind me saying. We charge people for every child they have. This would keep the population low, but more importantly, the treasury high. Is it really fair to bring new life into such an uncertain world? And won't that gold go to help the children who have already been born? Of course, you may also choose to keep Logan's policies. The matter is entirely in your hands. Mm. 
Very good, Your Majesty. Why change things when they are going so well? Perhaps Logan was right in following this course of action. Shall we proceed with the rest of your appointments? Here is the royal agenda for the day. As you can see, you have two audiences in the throne room to begin. I've heard rumors that Reaver's latest proposals are both scandalous and delicious. It should be most entertaining. Welcome to the Sanctuary. A little something new has appeared in...